everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is an interesting one. We are going to see what goes through their mind when they think of you. In front of me, I have three different options, each with a different image. Choose the one that really calls out to you. This is group one, group two, and group three. Okay, let's get started. Hey, group number one. Okay, so what comes to their mind when they think of you? Okay, so we start off with the Queen of Wands here. So this person, honestly, guys, I feel like they are blown away by your beauty. And they just, they find you to be so attractive and just like so fiery, you know, and full of life is what I'm getting. Like you guys, you come across like you are the center of attention. Even if, you know, you don't feel like you always are, I'm just getting like somebody who's very, like you have that it factor, okay? You come across like you are like irresistible and like just charming and fun and just, like I said, like lively, okay? Very fiery energy, passionate. And I feel like this person's really intrigued by you guys when they think of you. And when they think of somebody that, you know, that they're attracted to and this isn't just looks you know this is personality this is energy this is your vibe everything you're the one that comes to their mind okay along with that though i do feel like they think you get a lot of attention and a lot of people that want you so you know first there's definitely this like competitive vibe that comes that goes through this person's mind too when they think of you but those of you who are dealing with somebody who's pretty self-assured, I don't feel like that sways them. You know, like, that's not really an issue for them. Actually, I think they like it. You know, like, everybody wants you, but you want them type thing going on. But anyway, what's interesting, though, is there is definitely this lack of action, though, coming through on their part. I see that. And I actually want to get more cards that came out before I go any further with that. So we have my cards next, okay? So the gem card, my fruit card, and the tape player. Okay, so I feel like, you know, this person is definitely holding back when it comes to taking action with you. But... I don't feel like they necessarily want to though, but they are currently. And with the death card here, you know, there was definitely some kind of shift and change within your guys' connection with each other. But even though it changed, it didn't change how they feel. And that's why you both still feel so connected to each other. But okay, actually going even further though. Okay, so they also, yeah, they view you guys like a gem like you're so unique and special and rare okay um now it's like that selena gomez song is coming to um, me okay so yeah they know they know you're one of a kind and you're special you're unique and like one in a million is the phrase that's coming to me we could even say one in a billion you know but yeah there's still though there's still something holding them back and i'll get to that I'm seeing though this person, okay, these both are my attractive cards that I made and both of them came out. So this person is highly attracted to you guys. Like we are talking, when they think about you, they are definitely checking out your social media if you have it and they are looking at your pics, you know, they're admiring you, they're saving your pics. Okay, this is the type of person that even if you aren't friends with them on social media or block them, this person is incognito, they are under a fake account, they are still keeping tabs on you okay yeah but I'm feeling like there's some pick saving going on you know and um, they just they don't miss a post of yours that's how involved and connected energetically this person is okay so going back to that though this fruit card in particular says though like there is something about you guys that is like the opposite okay and I'm getting that that could be the factor in what is holding them back it could even be what's holding you back i'm just getting that you both want each other but like there is definitely something in the way okay and it could be you both could be kind of vacillating and like deciding 
like, is this, is this too big of a factor? Whatever the thing is, okay, to really move forward together. I get that. Like, even if you both don't want to, because I'm getting, there's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of attraction. It's very magnetic, this connection, but you're not together. Okay. So on top of all that, you know, <laughs> there's something that changed within you guys as well as this dynamic. So I feel like you guys are just really like doing your thing. You know, you're really just becoming who you were meant to become and you're really shining. I just get that with the queen of wands here and this card, like red is really standing out. You guys might be a fire sign, have a red pink aura. Okay. Just a very passionate energy coming from you guys. And it's like, no matter what happened, like even if you're not with this person who you could deem the love of your life, you're still going to shine. That's just who you are. It's like, oh, it's like that song um, from Bozzy. Like, even if it rains, she's still going to shine. Something like that. Like, that's what's coming to me about you guys. Like, it doesn't matter. Nothing's holding you back. You're unstoppable group one they think of that and they admire that but a part of them is jealous because of that okay like a part of them does feel like when they see you and watch you like I said like they're very torn like a part of them is happy for you and another part of them wishes though they wish they were the one that made you light up and shine like you are and the fact that you can do that without them perplexes them I feel and they do feel this twinge of jealousy with the justice reversed also, with this card, I feel like no matter what, like if they try to move on or they try to forget about you, they just can't. Like everything reminds them of you, okay? Especially songs. So yeah, there's no escaping you, group one. Okay, so looking at some more cards here. They, okay, they also see you guys as being sophisticated. I feel like you guys just really come across like you are well put together, okay? Very confident, sure of yourself. You own who you are, and I just, I want to put the fire emoji <laughs> as a symbol for you guys because you just, you know, you show up, you shine bright. You're like, here I am. Take me or leave me, but I'm being true to me, you know? But there's definitely a sophisticated classiness about you guys as well. And I also feel like they like your style. There's something about your style that's coming through. So yeah, I mean, you guys are the type that I feel like would look good in no matter what you wear. But like something that you wear really like accentuates their attractiveness to you. So you guys be driving this person crazy. They can't get, of course they can't get over you even if they try. You guys, though, you also come across like a healer. And I don't even know if this is conscious to this person. But I feel like there's something about being in your presence. This person just feels like all their worries and stresses just melt away. And like everything's going to be all right, you know? So like, yeah, I feel like you guys, you do do, you know, some of you might do energy work. That's possible. But like, either way, you guys, you no doubt are into self-realization and just you bettering yourself is like healing to the people around you is what I'm seeing with that. And then, okay, there's something about your guys' hair that came out specifically too that this person loves. I feel like they love the all of you, but like hair in particular did fly out. So yeah, I feel like they love your face though. They love everything about you. And then we have Leo, so it's possible, like I was saying, you guys definitely have fire vibes, whether you're a fire sign or not. But again, I just feel like, you know, you guys, you show up fully in life and, you know, it's like the world's going to hear you roar, basically. Yeah, you definitely, you have a voice and you voice what's meaningful to you. Okay, I'm getting like, you stand up for things, you know, you're like an advocate. This person really admires you. Could be in the spotlight, it's possible for some of you. But either way, like I always say, spotlight or no spotlight, just you've shown up fully in life as being in the spotlight and shining. But we do have my star card here, which also suggests like, yeah, you know, you guys, you definitely have the, the persona that would do well in the spotlight if you're not in the spotlight. Cause you just like naturally, like I said, show up and shine. I think this person really like, 
they they love that about you because you're just like I said you're your own person this unique gem who not only is attractive but they stand up for what they believe in and they do their thing in their own unique amazing way so definite glow up vibes okay and that could be the shift as well that's making them jealous that they're not with you you could even be posting that you're with somebody else you could even be with somebody else legitly and that could also be where this jealousy vibe is coming from but i feel like your heart is with this person this person could be playing the same i don't want to say playing the same game but like they could be doing the same thing though you know like trying to move on with somebody else but their heart's with you and it's like you both know this you know what i mean like you check out these videos you're intuitive so there's no hiding it but anyway okay so let's see what the messages have to get even a deeper feeling of what goes through their mind when they think of you okay they say if i could if i follow you i could lose everything okay so yeah that goes back to the thing that's so different between you two and both of you not taking the action forward because, you know, it feels like a gamble due to whatever's going on. And it's going to be different for all of you because it's a general reading. But on the other hand, they say, I just want you all the time. Okay, yeah, we know. We see the attractiveness. We see the connectedness, regardless if you two are in communication or seeing each other or not. So this person is definitely on the fence as far as like they're very conflicted okay i feel like you guys are too but i feel like there's more of a fighter spirit within you guys and that you are like no like we can make this work somehow and this person is almost just like i don't know how so that's where that lack of action is then they say happiness is my priority okay so they are trying to do them get right with themselves you know get back to themselves before they can even move forward with you or if they are with somebody break it off with them and then be with you okay mm, okay hold up something else just came to me so if this has nothing to do with you guys being different or opposite then i feel like the obstacle could be that you are wondering about somebody who's already with somebody okay there's just some kind of obstacle that i'm getting that is causing this person no matter how much their heart is with you to not go forward with you even though i feel like more than ever like they want to okay or you're the one with somebody somebody could be with somebody and that could be the main obstacle because we do have them feeling jealous but this is odd, guys. I really do feel like this could be the type of person who could be with somebody, but like their heart's with you and they're jealous if they see you post with anybody else or just, you know, not being with them. Okay, interesting. But anyway, like I said, it's going to be different for all of you. It says, you have so many choices and options. Okay, yeah, I knew like this person was coming across like they view you like this prize who's just shining and you have your glow up and you're just doing your thing. And yeah, like that change and the jealousy, like it just, it heightens any. So even though like I initially was getting this person's pretty self-assured and confident, they still have, you know, I mean, they're human. They still have insecurities, especially I feel like you doing your thing without them and getting attention for it. It's like, it is, it's definitely stirring up jealousy. And then we had no come out very boldly. So that could be this person just like thinking enough is enough. Like they aren't, they think they're not able to do anything about you two not being together and they might not like, you know, you just doing your thing without them and getting attention and thriving and they could just be like, enough's enough. And I'm just getting like, that's them trying to regain some type of control and just cutting off, even though I don't ever really feel like this person is cut off, okay? And then, okay, that could also go back to the shift. Like the shift could also... The shift and change could also be that you two cut off from this, okay? Even if you're still connected. Just could be like a break in the relationship and not, you know, communicating. And then we have, have I lost everything? 
So yeah, this person, they don't really want this to be over with you. It's just kind of like, again, I'm just getting there's some main obstacle right now that is preventing them from really taking that action to being with you. And all they know is they're seeing you living your life fully without them. And I mean, yeah, go you, you know, you're not going to stop your life because this person can't get their ish together and like make things happen with you. But yeah, you're all on their mind, group number one, like it doesn't matter what they're doing. So yeah, all in all, group number one, you guys are definitely on their mind, and I feel like they're just kind of like, I said, like, tormented as far as, like, feeling like they want you, but not being able to make that happen right now. Okay, group number one, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments, and if it does, don't forget to give it a like. All right, bye guys. Hey, group number two. Okay. What goes through your person's mind when they think of you? Okay, group number two. So right away, you guys, when they think about you, they think of somebody who is like so like full of life, okay? You guys come across as like these fun, spunky, feisty, playful, charming people, okay? So even though like this is the page of wands, I'm really getting like kind of like Gemini vibes. I feel like even the way you guys talk and the way you do, you know, like your gestures, your demeanor is kind of naturally flirty and, you know, like I said, like feisty and fun. So I feel like this person really likes interacting with you. Like they don't get that from just anybody, you know? So it's kind of like that interaction between you both is really like, uh, it just connects them and they feel magnetically drawn to you guys. And I feel like whether you guys talk, see each other or not, like you're always on this person's mind, okay? I'm even getting this person has like such a soft spot for you. It's almost like you guys can do no wrong, okay? And you guys also are the type that, you know, whether you have this going on or not yet, it's kind of like you guys are going to have this way of communicating where you just kind of like give each other this look and you'll just have this knowing about something going on, okay? You know what I'm talking about, like when you're close to somebody, it's like you guys could be in a room full of people and if you're trying to communicate without communicating, you might just kind of like give them a look and then like, yeah, and then you both like know what you're trying to say. You know what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense. Um, or like you'll have inside jokes, okay? It's kind of like that connectedness of like, ooh, we've got a secret that only we know, you know, that kind of thing going on. It's cool. It's kind of like being buddies and lovers. Not friends with benefits, but like being in love with your best friend vibe. You know what I'm saying? But you guys are really attracted to each other. So it's basically like having it all is like the potential that I feel for this group. Okay. Okay. So yeah, they view you as very highly. Okay. This person, your person themselves is coming across like the king of wands. So it's possible for some of you your person is older but they don't have to be okay but you definitely have like this youthful playfulness to you and I feel like you bring that out of this person okay because they're definitely coming across with kind of a mature vibe I'm not saying like they're always mature I mean they're definitely youthful and fun too I'm getting but they're just so focused right now and really like climbing to the top I feel that it's kind of like I don't feel like your person has a lot of time currently for fun, but you bring that lightheartedness, that playfulness, okay, to them. So honestly, you guys are such a bright spot. And right as I said, like that word came to me, I just saw this yellow in both of these cards. So yeah, you bring this optimism, this joy, this anything is possible type feeling. And I see that you two are very fiery. You're both coming across like fire signs, even if you're not. So a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, a lot of like liveliness, you know? I feel like you get this person like excited excited for life again excited to be who they are okay i'm just as i tap into your cards i just get this excitedness like ooh, i can't wait and it doesn't even like have to be whatever you guys are doing it's just kind of like that feeling of like being on the edge of something exciting basically 
Oh, I'm loving it, group two. But, okay, we have the Eight of Swords following this. So there's something that is preventing you two from moving forward together is what I'm seeing. So that seems to be a common theme with these piles. I'm actually going to get some more cards out before I look further at those because okay, so we have oh snap rebel i can't even and lit okay that didn't really help um okay your guys is okay this is interesting like one minute i think i know where this is going and then the next minute i'm thrown so it's possible that's exactly how you two feel like one minute you think you are both on the same page and then the next minute it's kind of like they say or do something and you're like what like thrown you know like not sure like what's going on where you two are headed and that's why you're checking these out okay so i do feel like though okay hold on so for some of you this isn't going to go for all of you because it's a general reading some of you got into it with your person about something or they got into it with you. Just both of you got into it. And I feel like, you know, it kind of like made it to where you both went your separate ways is what I'm saying, but still like highly connected. There's a high, highly charged energy between you guys regardless. It's just kind of like this break feeling from communication. For others of you, you didn't get into it, but it's kind of like, again, like something prevented you guys from moving forward and I feel like you kind of like took a break energetically and emotionally from this person you're like I can't even you know like if they want me they'll let me know type thing even if you didn't voice that that's just kind of like what's coming through and it could literally be like maybe one minute you get a sign from this person and the next minute you don't hear from them they don't write you back just something like that back and forth energy and just nothing that's truly moving forward so you know with the six of swords it's like moving forward but not necessarily with that person so i'm getting that either way no matter what it is and what happened it's like both of you are just kind of like taking a break from this while still feeling connected one of you is definitely coming across as being kind of a rebel okay i want to say you're both kind of a rebel but i do feel like you guys definitely have this way about you that is kind of sassy like i said like feisty and it's kind of like you know i feel like you won't hesitate to tell someone off if it you know but it's like you mean well though it's almost like that person deserved it if you do say something and i just feel like they get such a kick out of you and they admire your like boldness you know for some of you, that could be your person. Okay, I'm just getting somebody's blunt in this connection and they say things that others are thinking but wouldn't say, okay? Yeah. I do feel like, you know, depending on how much you know this person and have communicated and hung out, I feel like you both, like, I just see a lot of laughter for you guys. Like, the way that you both are, yeah. Just a lot of good times and laughter. And I feel like that is, like, you guys feeling lit, okay? I mean, it's possible some of you party with this person. And I do feel like they think you're cool, you know? But, yeah, I just, I feel like you guys just have, or if you don't, you will. Like, you'll have the best of times together, is what I'm seeing with that. All right, let's check out some more cards. Okay, so we got... Somebody's kind of living a secretive life. Okay, that's coming through. I feel like, okay, so it's coming to me that both of you love your freedom, but it's like you also want to come together. Okay. So you definitely are like, I want somebody who makes me feel free because I love freedom so much and I'm willing to be single until I get that. But I do feel like you feel that with this person and that's why you're drawn to them. Okay, so this is what comes through their mind, though. So I do feel like this person also feels like you guys are the type of person that they would feel free with, okay? Okay, we also have one of... Okay, one of you's coming across like you're involved with somebody already, even though this is the person who's got your heart. Okay, it could be them, it could be you. 
I'm getting so much like 50 50 energy like nothing is jumping out at me as far as like who's doing what here so you both are definitely a mirror for each other okay could could be both of you that's interesting group two but you both are the ones that want each other even if one or both of you is involved with somebody all right so they also see you guys as being like somebody who acts like I don't need no man or woman. Okay, so you definitely have like this independent vibe to you and like you're just doing your thing. You're really trying to like, you know, be financially secure, I see. And I feel like they kind of wonder if you even want love. Okay, so I feel like this is interesting because I felt like it was with you guys too. Like one minute you feel like they're on the same page, the next you're not sure. That's actually what goes through their mind with you as well. Can we get any more mirroring? Okay, they also see you as outspoken. Yeah, okay, like that's what I was saying, you know, with the being blunt and being like a rebel. Okay, so even though they're not sure about you, this person also has like a way of being where as soon as they catch feelings in order to feel in control, they kind of they compartmentalize them, okay, and they don't really show it. So I actually get an air sign vibe with that, you know. Even though they're coming across as this fiery energy, and I do feel like they're very passionate people when they're into something, they also kind of have this air sign vibe where I feel like this person can get caught up in their head and they don't try to feel, whereas you're definitely more fire water vibes, even if you're in air sign, you know? I feel like there's a mixture of that in there too. And I just, yeah, I feel like... You're coming across as the more outspoken one, although it could be kind of even. Just, yeah, this person allows sometimes, they just get in their head and I feel like they don't take action. But again, they could also be involved with somebody and that could be the lack of action and you two kind of taking a break from this idea even though I feel like it's what you both want. Because, oh, I almost forgot, we end these cards with the ten of cups so yeah this person definitely feels like when they think of you like you would be there happily ever after like when they think of the grass being greener on the other side that's with you so i am leaning more i am leaning towards that this is the per this person could be with somebody right now and if not then it's just you know something they're involved with is keeping them from taking action is what i'm seeing Okay, so let's look at the message cards to get even deeper into what is going on. All right, they say, please give me time. I've never felt this way before. Okay, so they're saying like the timing isn't quite right due to something, but at the same time, they're also acknowledging that they have not felt this way before. So like I said, yeah, I'm definitely getting that with the Ten of Cups, with all the fire going on. Okay, they say you are right. So this especially goes for those of you who might have gotten into it with this person, okay? So there's a part of them that acknowledges that you're right. They say my life started when I met you, okay? Yeah, I can feel it, okay? Definitely has that puppy love, crush feeling, excitedness, like fireworks when this person thinks of you. Happiness is my priority. Okay, this is interesting. I'm literally getting this with every group lately and I get it, you know, a lot of people have that I'm doing me right now and you know, it's not, that's really actually smart. You know, it's like they need to fill their cup so they can help everyone else fill their cup. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Light. Okay, this person is really drawn to your light. Okay. Oh. They also say I'm open to compromise, and the two is really standing out to me. So I feel like, you know, this person does want you as their person, but again, with the three in between these twos, I feel like there is something in the way. And it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody else, but it's something that's in the way. Then they say, now is not the time. So that's two cards that's really, you know, coming out and saying that now isn't the time. But at the same time, I do get the feeling like they don't want you to move on, even though they know that's asking a lot since they can't be with you right now. 
Then they say, if I asked you to stay, would you leave? And I feel like that's just in regards to they know they're asking a lot. And they want to know, like, where you stand with given what you know. Oof. Okay, group number two, that's what I see for you. I definitely feel like this is like a to be continued type feeling of a reading. So yeah, I will definitely be doing another one after you hear this video of like more on your person. Okay, group number two, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. All right, bye guys. Hey, group number three. Okay, so what goes through your person's mind when they think of you? Okay, group number three. So right away, the way that this person sees you when they think of you is like, you guys, they feel like you guys have like the purest of intentions, okay? Like you guys come across like you are genuine, you're real. It's like you mean what you say, you, you know, you fall through on things. You are the type that make people believe in love again, okay? With the Knight of Cups here, it's just like you come across like you you know, you're guided by the heart, you are a loving person, and even a hopeless romantic, okay? Like, you make people feel like they can believe in love again. Just all around, like, you know, someone with a heart, basically. And I feel like it's really refreshing to this person. I would even go so far as to call you guys like an earth angel. Yeah, I don't think they've ever quite experienced anyone like you. Okay, I think they're more used to worldly type of people. But you guys have such a bright aura. Okay, so this person though, I feel like they did something though that like sabotaged this connection with you with the Three of Pentacles reverse that often, you know, speaks of somebody who is involved with somebody else and distracted and not able to give you what they feel like you deserve. In fact, the song that comes to me in regards to these two cards is, even if you're a guy watching this, okay, just flip this and make it work for you, but, girl, you're my angel, you're my darling angel, closer than my peeps you are to me, lady. And something about, you know, Girl, you know you're a queen, and as though you should be treated, even though you never get the love that you needed, yeah. Okay, so anyway, yeah, like, they're acknowledging, like, you guys are, you know, one of a kind, and you deserve love, and they don't feel like they were able to give it to you. In fact, I'm gonna show the other cards, because it goes right along with that perfectly, okay? Like, as far as, like, yeah, like, calling you, you know, you're an angel, you are a queen or a king, you know. Yeah, you guys definitely, that's what they think of you. They know, they see you highly, okay? They feel like you're pure, you're, you're an angel, you're a queen or a king, and you deserve the best, and they weren't able to give it to you. So I do feel like there's regret on this person's part. But at the same time, I'm getting kind of an immaturity about them. Like they want to have their cake and eat it too. So it's possible you guys entered this person's life and they know you're amazing, but they're not ready to settle down or they weren't ready. Okay. It's going to go for some of you. For others of you, you, you know, caught the attention of somebody who was already with somebody. Okay. It's going to be different for all of you. It's possible to whatever this thing is that's distracting them isn't even a person. It's just something that's taking up their attention and they're not able to give you what you deserve, okay? Either way, you guys, again, are coming across like you are shining, you're doing your thing with or without them, and, you know, I feel like they take notice of that, you know, and I feel like they admire you for that, and it just makes them see you even more highly, okay? And at this point, this person just is kind of surrendering to what is with the hangman here, and it's kind of like they get this feeling like if it's meant to be, it'll be, so I'll just let it be, okay, like that other song. But it's almost like deep down, though, they really do feel like you two would make an amazing match is what I'm seeing. But, you know, looking at the rest of the cards, so they might have ended up saying something to you that was kind of shocking. 
like it's possible they were kind of blunt with it and did just upfront tell you guys something about why they can't be together because I'm just getting like this what and I feel like that's you guys and then like them yeah like just saying something that like changed everything even though you know I feel like you're still interested and this person is too but it just makes it to where you know I feel like you both were hurt when this shifted and you know, could have ended if you were with this person. Yeah, so I'm definitely getting some kind of regret. So they currently are like waiting to hear from you guys, okay? And I feel like that's that would be them gauging like, well, if this person's into me, you know, if they think we could repair this at all, like I'll hear from them. That's like what's coming through when they think of you. This person's also really attracted to you. Okay, and this is wild. Okay, these two cards came out for group one as well. And the deck that I have of my own cards is super thick. So it's like, what are the odds that this is coming out? So, okay, they view you guys like a healer. That's interesting, okay? And I feel like it goes back to your earth angelness. It's just kind of like you guys have this way, this presence where I feel like you know, just them being in your presence, they feel better, you know, like everything's going to be all right. And yeah, and I feel like it comes from you guys working on yourselves. Okay. You're clearing out like that, which doesn't serve you is like just dissolving and melting away, you know, and it makes others feel clearer and more at peace in your presence. So yeah, you know, us working on us heals those around us. So, and your hair, okay? There's something in particular about your guys' hair that I feel like this person loves. I mean, like I, like I feel like they love all of you. You know, they're attracted to all of you, but like there's something in particular about your hair this person really likes. Okay, and then we have this card, which is my one minute, you know, they feel like you're on the same page as them. And then the next minute you say or do something that like shifts this whole thing, which is interesting because I feel like that's what they did to you. So there is a bit of mirroring going on here where one minute you both felt like you were on the same page and then something happened. Somebody said something and it shifted the whole thing. So, yeah. Okay. So let's take a look at the message cards to take a look even deeper at what is going on what this person thinks when they, what comes to this person's mind when they think of you. Okay, so they say, let me have you. Okay, so yeah, I feel like that goes back to the attractiveness, you know. Interesting, time to ground yourself. I feel like that's advice for both of you, okay? I feel like, you know, especially with the hangman energy here, it's kind of like when you think your life's going in one direction and then all of a sudden it shifts, it's kind of like that's the time to ground yourself, you know? And really, like, come from a place of clarity and peace instead of chaos. Okay, next we have... Be more selfish. Okay, this is interesting. And then I want to put this card with it because they're both red and they feel like they go together. And then no. So I feel like this person is like saying, you know, they're telling you, hey, put yourself first. That's what I did. Whether you liked it or not, they're saying that's what I did. And even if they wanted you, it's kind of like they're like, it's not going to happen right now due to whatever, okay, no matter how much they like you, and they want you to do the same thing is what I'm getting. Interesting. Then they say you are so very special. So they are acknowledging, okay, like, they do view you, like, highly, and like a gem, and like I said, earth angel, king or queen, somebody who, you know, you guys could be in the spotlight. Like, they, they view you like you have, you know, just like you get a lot of attention, like you have a lot of people admire you, even if you're not in the spotlight. Okay, so they know, they know you're very special, you know, and you deserve something amazing. You deserve somebody who's willing to give that to you. And I almost feel like there's kind of a martyr attitude with this person. And almost like they feel like, oh, you know, you 
you deserve someone better type line and it's almost like okay like stop i can't stand when people say that but um yeah that's the vibe that's coming through with this person and then they say i never imagined so much perfection and it's almost like one of those things where you think okay so if you're saying you know that you are just so amazing in their eyes but they can't be with you like okay what so I'm definitely getting a more immature vibe coming from this person. I feel like they do have a lot of growing up to do. Because here you are, this amazing, special person. And I know they do acknowledge that. But it's almost like they're saying, but they're not ready yet. And maybe it's true. Maybe it's just where they're at in life. You know what I mean? But you do deserve somebody who is ready. So, you know. And then they say you already know. Okay. Okay, so that's interesting to me, and I feel like it's a little cocky, to be honest. I feel like they're kind of like saying, like, you know that I'm into you, but you know that I'm not able to give you what you want right now. Okay, yeah. So, it's, yeah, I see, group three, your frustration on this, because on one hand, you know, I feel like deep down, you're the one they want, but it's like so deep down. And like right now, it's like they definitely are going through whatever they got to go through. And it's like, it could come across as being selfish, but it's just where they're at currently. And it could be playing the field and not committing, you know, it's going to be different for all of you. I feel like you'll know that if that's what it is, but, and then them like, acting like they want you and then you know but they're not able and saying no you know be selfish so it's kind of like they're letting you go without saying it you know i just i feel like you know as much as this person views you as special they definitely view themselves as special as well not that there's anything wrong with that but again with a bit of more immature energy coming through with this person it's like they're kind of like seeing like I feel like they're really into attention and like just I'm not feeling like this person's ready yet for what you're ready for is what's coming through to me it's not to say that they won't be in the future but that but that's currently what's coming through okay group number three this is what I see for you guys if this resonates let me know in the comments and if it does don't forget to give it a like all right bye guys